Morphling can get on top of you, sure, but it's not really a big issue. Like overall, it looks like a good long red game. For okay. Uh, oh, how, how about the item build though? Because you are saying you yeah, maybe they're looking for a bit of a timing key with the Lone Druid. We have seen kind of like Diffusal and the Echo Harpoon into, or yeah, Ace Harpoon. kind of... And then we see Ace kind of lacks the Radiance as well. Do, do you have a preference this game? Uh, there, there's like so many items as well in Lone Druid right now. That's something that I really like about the meta at the moment. Um, well, not every hero. There's there's a lot of heroes that still buy the same stuff every single game, but uh, Lone Druid is not one of them. And I feel like he's he's already queuing up Orb of Corrosion and Diffusal. Not gonna act smart and call it, but uh, even in some games, even something like an Orchid on Lone Druid early on is not bad. You know, like Orchid or a Diffusal Orchid, Diffusal Halberd. Um, you can go get a Desolator as well if you want to on this hero. It's like so many different options for you. Radiance as well that you just called out. Not not uncommon at all. This time he's just gonna go for Diffusal. I think this is your bread and butter build. I think it's the most default one at the moment. With Orb of Corrosion, without it, just Diffusal, without it even is, is, is picked up very often. But he's gonna go for that. Corrosion for uh, some lane domination first. Right, let's see how it's going to work out for him in the end. So, get the debut of Navi's new roster and Sakura as well. So, I mean, this is a, a team I can feel like maybe not these qualifiers, but I, I can definitely see this team you know, picking up some momentum and being able to compete versus. You know, some of the T1 teams and potentially take some games like here and there. I know, I know Young G had also a very good showing on, on teams like Puck Champ when the, um, when, when the COVID games were going online and we had like those regional finals for Eastern Europe. So he also is a very talented mid laner, but you know, we're just going to see if they can click. That's the big thing. I mean, how, how many games do they need and how many scrims do they need to be able to get that synergy down? Yeah, and I feel like this isn't really an easy lane for him, right? Like Kunka into Razor. Um, I do believe that this should be very razor favored. I'm not sure even uh, right now. We'll see. At the moment, it's looking all right for Young G. Are we is, is there any like middle item before the scepter this game for the conquer? Because I mean, pretty much that only item at the moment seems like the the blade mail, right? So is it a good blade mail game for him, or is it probably just a rush of the scepter? It's not a bad blade mail blade mail game. I would like to have axe as soon as possible this game though. The only question is like blade mail isn't blade mail has many uses, so because of that, I'd probably buy it first. It's not only like. Oh, I'm playing versus PA or someone, you know, and I need blade mill. It, it helps you with uh, with the stats. It helps you with uh, farming, of course. So probably something that he needs to buy first. Alright, let's see if that will be the choice. What's happening in some of our side lanes at the moment? Melody and Yuragi combination together. I feel like Yuragi is definitely going to be coming into this with something to prove as well. You had some good showings with OG, of course. I mean, major winner OG as well. We, we have to keep in mind, but definitely has struggled in a lot of those series and games. Unfortunately, a big reason why he's not on the team anymore. And we'll see if he can, along with his you know, other other boys, make Na'Vi strong again. Great again. <laughs> this, great again, because this is an organization, man, that was... Like the pinnacle of Eastern Europe, Dota, and, and Dota as a whole. Like, like, let's be real. So, it'd be great to have Navi kind of back. Manga, make Navi great again. Um, <laughs> honestly, my heart is broken, and I can't really huff any more copium when it comes to Navi. I've I've wanted this team to come back into the scene for so many times that at this point I'm like. Yeah, I've given up, you know, I've given up on the hopes. When it happens, it happens. I do think that this is a very decent stack and they might do it, but mm -hmm. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna play that game of, is this the stack when, where Navi comes back as... I've been burnt way too many times. 
Yeah, you're just gonna you you emotional man. You just you wanna wait and see. It's, you wanna get those hopes up. I get it. It's like it's like waiting for Dandy to win uh, some qualifiers or tournament. You know, it's the same thing. Like a big fan, but you just ha have to mm -hmm. have your heart broken too many times. At at that point, you just start uh, disbelieving. It's kind of what it's like to be a liquid fan right now. So I don't know, it's just I not, mean, a, not a fun liquid. ride. Yeah, yeah. It depends. Do you like being getting second or not? If you like being second, then it's nice being a fan. But all jokes <laughs> aside, man, Liquid is amazing. Like, uh, realistically, when you when you think about it, like getting second all the time is really damn good. You know, I'm yeah, sure yeah. they're yeah, not yeah. happy about it. They they themselves, I'm I'm sure they aren't, because every competitor wants that number one slot, right? Every single competitor wants to be winning tournaments. Kind of aches when you're second all the time. It aches them, but objectively you, speaking, you they can only are cope so much. Amazing. Yeah, That's you can true. only That's say true. like, yeah, we got second place so many times. Like you only be like, yeah, but the money, but the money, but the money, and then it's like, yeah, but what about the the chip? What about the trophy? And then the, the cope, it kind of it runs dry. Yep. I don't know. I'd cope all the way in my millions of dollars. <laughs> 24 7. <laughs> oh, I'd find a way. Melody. I need some damage, but there's the double stuns we were speaking about in the draft that's going to make it difficult. In fact, it gives him opportunity to turn it back around. So Rubik Maybe could even be a killed double. off. Frostbite up in a couple of seconds. They definitely should be able to get the kill onto the dino. Lice. He's going to join his Rubik in the grave floor. Does kind of... Maybe it wasn't even that close to threatening a Melody yep. in the end. Melody had the Magic Wand and Healing Lotus there, so probably wasn't under any real pressure. So bot lane you're winning, mid lane you're winning, top lane... Top lane you're not, but it's not like Lone Druid is being uh, completely zoned out. A very decent start for Na'Vi at the moment. Do you like the Dino yeah, off lane, by the way, or do, do you like him more in mid? Mm. More in mid, right? I feel like. I prefer mid. Zayats is going to be able to TP. I think Arrow not even leveled up, and whoo, Young G very close to getting the X. I prefer it mid, I th just because I think the power in is probably a big thing, and you do so much with levels, but I mm -hmm. don't have a big issue with it being in the off lane. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think it's kind of the same, um, the way I think. But the only difference is when you're off, when you're mid, you get just so much out of this hero. Take one rune, farm the medium camp, go mid, push it out with trample, go take another bounty rune, farm out all the camps around it. You just have so much. They might snatch the rune, the wisdom rune, if they get there before Rubik, and they will. Maybe they won't even expect your Yuragi to be... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Man. Easy. No. That can't happen. You can't rotate both these heroes and not get the rune. Like, that's <laughs> that so much happen. time wasted. Wait, mid lane sanctity? <laughs> Looks nice. like Yun G's going to be able to get a kill under the T1 tower. So I think that was the... Yeah, I mean, extra level. You, you lacked the arrow prior. Now this time you'll get it. Top lane. Knight. Should be fine. Nice adaptive strike on the bear, main damage source. He's just way too big. Like power treads, two raid bands, uh, three branches. He, he's he got a ton of stats. It's hard to, to take this uh, morphing down. I kind of wish I was watching what happened mid though. I don't know how maybe the Marana was just Probably waiting for Pharaoh, Sanctity right? to go up onto this. Yeah, that's that's what I'm uh, guessing. I just don't know if the Mirana was already waiting nearby for Sanctity to like to, to walk up to their high ground or not. So just had the awareness. It, it really doesn't seem like he needs to play top anymore, right? Like with, with how tanky Knight is and, and the items that he has. Mm, yeah, definitely not. Spe especially because th this Morphling, you can go on him, uh, but you can't. You shouldn't be able to surprise him with any of the heroes that you've got on on. On Radiant, 
because realistically they don't have a look at their draft their draft is one of those um snowbally lineup that avalanche that you see coming from far off but you can't escape it that kind of a thing um unless you're more you can't escape it i guess okay very close The only so question it's not for crazy. me is who's gonna. Yeah, no, no, nothing crazy. The, I'm just waiting to see who's gonna make stuff happen for Radiant, for Navi, Rubik. This time he's not gonna be able to snipe the rune in front of them. Your IG gets a freebie. <laughs> yeah. It's. Uh, for me, I, I, I would say that the most important. Which is kind of funny, but maybe the most important hero on Radiant. To have a good early, very good early game would be tiny. Like get this guy his blink ASAP. If he can get it, the game changes. Yuragi. Oh, just, just a little ulti from Primal Beast. How do you go about doing that then? Like get getting the tiny a good game. Is it is it just the razor goes back and farms the jungle? So Zayats can take mid, or does Zayats even look towards bottom and, and the Sven goes back into the jungle early? Tiny is a kill hero, right? Uh, the best way to, to, to have that happen, the best way to have him uh, have a good game is by kills. And maybe this Rubik will die. Let's see. Anyone else? Looks like Zayats is going to die as well. But the X, so they need to use the bow for the kill, however. Potentially saving in any case a further fight breaks out. And well, these deaths are <laughs> unfortunately going to slow down this blink timing for Zayats. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, you want to be involved as, in as many kills as possible, and then you steal one of the lanes. Like if you have a core that can farm easily, you you take farm the jungle easily. That is, you take his lane, you get your blink, and then you start rotating. Um, but uh, no such luck for Zayats yet. Mostly because Nefrit didn't really dominate top lane with him. We'll see once that Nefrit has defusal. Uh, he is getting closer to it, so... Once he gets that, maybe... Maybe it will change a bit. Is this a slow defusal blade timing? I, I feel like I've seen them come out faster. And I don't know if it's because the corrosion is usually bought afterwards. Top lane? Top lane Zayats again. <laughs> Double avalanche at the same time from both the Tiny and the Morphling Replicate. Looks a little bit funky, they'll get the kill though. Unfortunate for him, he's died now twice in a row. This is rough, but uh, it, it is a bit slower. It is a bit slower. His lane wasn't really, he wasn't dominating the lane by any stretch. Um, and then on top of that, he went for corrosion, which is built to win the lane more than anything. So um, yeah, that that's why it looks a bit slower. His, his farming speed picks up now. Once you get level four spirit link and like level three bear, you can easily farm anything on the map, like you, you can tank the Ancients. Basically you just put your main hero in front and hit the Ancients with the bear. You don't even need regen, you're constantly full HP. Mm, we'll see, the Fuser Blade is now picked off for him. And this could give you an opportunity for Zayats to look to potentially smoke to the Lone Druid and try and get some kills in the map. Looks like he's even going to combine with Sanctity as well. He's already got the Ash completed, so this Razor is incredibly farmed, and of course Yuragi as well has been uncontested so far this game. But this smoke needs to work out. Like you've been saying for Zayats, this is a kill hero, so being able to get these kills or assists will get him close to the blink. It's so hard though, right? Uh, no Savage Roar as well. Can you actually do this? Let's see. I mean, maybe with Yuragi coming through the portal, it's a pretty Yuragi good rotation. Definitely, yeah. yeah, well done. And now I think they've got some vision as well. Lice is going to run into two. The bow will be able to help tank up the dino. But there's definitely no return kill going to be had here for the boys on die. So it's just an all-out retreat. Melody, though, coming from the other side. The nice pathing here for the Crystal Maiden might actually give Na'Vi an opportunity to catch a secondary member. Especially if Nefret's able to get in range for the bear. Sanctity is rewarded for the kill. He's already looking for more as well. Maybe with the plasma field, Sanctity snipes till the end before the leap. Yeah, that that was just this uh, slow avalanche that we talked about. Perhaps you don't have uh, 
enough of catch to, to kill these heroes, but you just chase them down with a bear. One defusal use, usage after another. And, of course, really nice rotation by Ragi. Like, going through that portal. I, I'm seeing this very often from carries. If you're in front and your team is making a move on the tier 1 on the enemy side, just use the portal. Go there. He's had a fantastic uh, laying down bottom and has been using his resources really well. And I like this continued aggression too. They're going to keep Nefret up top. Yuragi's even still sticking around, so he doesn't have God Strength just yet. Mm -hmm. He can farm this up, go through the portal, go down bottom again. I feel like it's all about where he feels the safest and how much vision he's got. Young G. Oh, well done, Melody. Smoke. Great position for the Crystal Maiden to be able to pop the smoke. And maybe they might look for the kill onto Young G. Oh, definitely now with Sancti actually wrapping, wrapping from the south. So it'll be a bit of a freebie for them. Lace is yeah, actually going to try and step in here with the Primal Base. They've got Smiling Knight as well. This is danger territory now for Na'Vi. Knight's going to be able to offer up the damage they're missing. They'll deal with the first, but it's a pretty huge avalanche from Zayats though. Helps them cover some of the initial mess and now Nefret as well. And we continuing to beat onto Knight who's almost out of mana. But a great defensive telekinesis. Gets him that breathing room required to be able to step out of danger. Decent fight nonetheless, but it does look like Na'Vi coming out on top once again. Yeah. Not great, not terrible, right? It's it's one of those kind of fights. If you're if you're uh, a Sakura, you, you're Morphling joined and he got a little bit of farm. He finished his ultimate orb off of that. Um, went into that Razor form, but just couldn't fight... Uh, Nefrit, he just got his uh, true form as well. First usage instantly makes a huge difference. Like, yeah, he's just, uh, yeah, okay. This this lone druid is really doing some serious work on the map. I was worried a bit as the lane wasn't that simple for him, but he recovered from a couple of stacks, and all the moves afterwards were correct. Yeah, and, and even just, like, again, to harp on it, all the other cores have been making, like, really good movements. You know, that their farming patterns to then connect to team mm -hmm. fights have been splendid so far from Na'Vi, so... But you do have the one core on on Daya Asakura that, that's having a good time, and that is Smiling Knight. So he's got this Lincoln Sphere now completed, which offers you, a, I mean, a great defensive factor. Your Static Link, really, the, the big one. Not that... It, is the worst because you can always just nullify it with your own static link but the storm hammer and the frostbite are, are really the big ones and overall though like if morphling gets three four items is this a game where knight can actually get them over the finish line is it a good enough morphling game if you can free farm i feel like uh, it's a really good morphling game but you're playing objectively into three cores into three carry semi carries right like they don't have this dino offlane. They have a lone druid who scales immensely well till the end. He is dead here. And by the way, Tiny has a blink. So Zaz did manage to pick that up in the end. And it's not a terrible yeah. timing at all. Um, so overall, I feel like Morphling is, in my opinion, maybe the strongest or one of the strongest carries at the moment with the Kanda build. But... Uh, it's it's not a very simple game for him. He's got a lot of things that he has to worry about. I do like it. I I I'd rather have Morphling in this situation than many many other carries. That needs to be said. I don't I don't know if I if there's anything else that I'd rather have um, than a morph here. Melody again. Nice positioning from him. Another pretty good positioning. Balls. Yeah, yep. he was really a shining, uh, like a position five that it can be very difficult to feel the impact, but his in performance on Hellraisers, I'll hold that because Navi actually want to fight Sanctity. Fortunately, sentries over to the right side, so the Knight will run into it. And now they're going to group up for a double avalanche as well. Oh, They'll the be able to get the kill. Morph. Can they turn to the Morphling afterwards? Just gets the waveform down to the low ground. Knight, he's getting chased down though, but they'll think otherwise, Na'Vi. The bit heads in, of course, you just use your BKB on Yuragi, and Sanctity popped his as well, so was cautious about the turnaround. 
under that T2 tower. Yeah. The BKBs may be... Maybe both of them a bit premature, but uh, nonetheless better safe than better safe than sorry. It's pretty good yeah. BKB timing, so right, like the torrent storm is just completed on the on the conquer, so already yep. having the BKBs to kind of nullify this big advantage that the conquer can bring is is going to be important for Navi. By the way, he didn't go for that blade mill that we talked about, straight agonims. So that's also uh, that's why the timing is so good. On the axe, just straight rushing it. He's he hasn't had. Uh, when I say so good, I mean it's so good, considering what the lane was, and uh, that he was playing versus a razor. Oh, Agnim's BKB will be the build for him. Are we gonna continue to make some plays across the map, feeling their strength at the moment? Smokers fall. They need Zayats to be in the front line. It looks like Mirana has a pretty good read. Before it's been Navi supports. They won't run up there just yet. Sanctity will now reveal himself. Yeah, nice read. Uh, Mirana saw the lone druid farming. Um, Nefrit also broke smoke to attack the creeps. I don't think that's what uh, that's what gave them away. It's just the fact that. Okay, now there's a lone right here, guys. Uh, they want to open up this side of the map, secure the triangle. Most likely, there's a smoke. And even if even if the Mirana is wrong, you want to protect your carry anyway, just standing there, right? Even if even if they're not smoking there, it's still a good move. Mm -hmm. Quick thing, Dad. Navi still have their wisdom room up, so maybe if. Asakura were able to scout this out. They'll get a double wisdom room in 40 seconds because we'll probably see Navi still stick around for Dai's wisdom and tormentor. This is where this game can start to snowball, though, especially with the team with the lead around this stage. If you're able to take that tier 2 tower down bottom along with the tormentor. You snipe the Wisdom Room, you go back, take your own Tormentor. It's a really big spike for majority of the time your supports. Yeah, but Rubik stole their 21 and now he's gonna steal another one. <laughs> so, Man. he just had some uh, good time. And can he TP? Mostly... Nice clone. Nah, nice yeah. hit on. We'll give some experience at least over to the supports, considering Rubik just took both those Wisdoms, but... You'd, you'd be pretty happy with that, I think. Does, does the crystal clone just freak you out somehow? The way she moves, the way uh. she slides backwards, like... When I'm playing the game and I see it, I always feel like I have high ping. You know, that's where, where I'm lagging every time I see the crystal clone usage. No, it doesn't. Oh, I can't say freaks you out. I'm, I'm sorry to see you, brother. It's just me. It's just, it's just me. No. Yeah. Lies. It's okay. Lies. Sanctity again is going to be the first to pop the smoke. Unfortunately, Zayat's really close enough. So a couple times on Navi. Haven't connected with the smokes. Might still might be able to oh. get the Murano. They've done. Uragi, though. He'll clean up the mess. Jump to the trees. God Trent does have to be used for it, though. Oh, that's not the worst. You can go use... back to farming. Mm. Razor stealing his ancients. <laughs> Meanwhile, get out of here, man. Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking, can they use anything? Uh, can they use this uh, Gastron to go for Rosh, maybe? Or at least the tier 2 mid. That also works. BKB is completed on uh, Primal Beast. I think you mentioned it. So they could use that to take a fight. They're smoked up. though again three times crystal maiden always nearby to be able to pop the smokes it's, <laughs> it's sort of so a very good positioning so far from the supports these games they're very impressed mm. super annoying playing in, into a player such as that one you know such as melody when he's breaking every single move you you don't really want to be wasting smokes to kill him you need um, bigger targets and bigger objectives and now that your smoke has failed can you contest this rush? If it's rush, even. Never mind. He, they just use uh, 
We're just gonna go top instead. Tier 2 is still standing. Okay. They did use Mirana ult. I, I have a feeling that Asakura think uh, the Trosh might be happening. Laundry is actually going back. Yeah, Look yeah, at these scans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, uh, I was surprised they even went top. So, let's see. This tier one tower is very do, annoying. Do you jump Nefret though? I don't know. If you can jump the main guy, maybe you just. LED drops a really good ward on the cliff, actually. Oh, it just gives him so much information. It's Zayat. He's going to use that perfectly. A jump onto the back line, tossing a target to Sanctity. He's getting drained himself, though, so Sanctity Ooh, forced to retreat away, but Yagi doesn't need to run at all. As Yuragi's Sven can stand strong and fight, but once the BKBs are over, they've got the Torrent Storm to their advantage, but it just doesn't matter. Na'Vi have too big of a net worth lead at this stage of the game. You're going to lose three, almost a fourth. Yuragi a little bit too late to cut down the TP out Rubik, but... Another successful fight is a zero casualties for Radiant. Yeah, I think this team fight will never go uh, Sakura's way the way they played it. They need to find a way to kite out the BKBs, bait them, kite out the BKBs, and after the BKBs are done, then use the Torrent Storm. I th uh, may perhaps that approach would be. Uh, it's it's easier said than done, of course, but these kind of fights where they go head in first. With Morphling trying to swap into Razor and use Static Link, it's just even even if you don't Static Link r the Razor, let's say you Static Link the Sven, he still gets too much damage from God Strength. He's going to kill you by the time you take his damage yeah. away. Yeah, it kind of just seems like maybe you need to use the Morphling Static Link with a stun, and you don't have many. You can't really use it with the Conkers because they're. They're probably just going to BKB it off. So maybe yep. the Primal Beast and Morphling need to communicate better inside the team fights. Use like Pulverize with the Static Link. Because we just saw what happened, right? Sanctity just, uh, he just ran the opposite direction. Like he didn't care about the Morphling. You're like, he had a free fire. Yeah, and that's been happening in every fight so far. Like uh, he's got a lot of movement speeds. SNY, Windlace. You get on the, of course, the Storm Surge. You get on top of this Razor. He just moves away, so... Um, that, that's that's an issue with some heroes and some counters. Like, yeah, you counter him on paper, but do you have everything that it takes? And usually, everything that it takes needs uh, needs a disable, any sort, any sort of a slow or a big stun. Oh, oh! It's, oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, they'll still be able to get him. Maybe will they? Yes, they, they do. They did cut top. Unfortunately, Rainier don't have enough heroes to be able to tank the glyph. They might still go for the base though before backdoors up. They push fast. Maybe they can get ranged? Or melee? Yeah, with Lone Druid. Or both? They were, they were fast enough. Not both, but melee definitely. And now they have to go back because Morphling almost took their tier 3 down bottom. So... Need to deal with that first out, push that lane. Overall, no, it's not a good position that Asakura are in, but they're not out of it. They have a blink BKB on Primal Beast and a Kanda on, on Morphling. Actually, just a phylactery for now, but if he gets to that Kanda, you can even blow up a lone Druid. Lying up Yonji at the moment. Deep lane observed ward by the remnants of the T2 tower. And another D ward as well for Na'Vi. Zayat. Oh, I hope he may get further back inside the base. We'll get a Koryu for his... For his measure, but... I uh, just... Maybe they might actually catch up the knight. Run ulted. Let's see. They don't really want to fight. If you were a Sakura, you are just trying to creepscape, dodge. Not take any of these engagements. Give them the wisdom rune. Who cares? As long as the morphling is pushing, he actually has even uh, one range creep down bot. So optimally, he would uh, just force them down bottom just by pushing.
Oh, they actually how might far from the ages? make yeah. them come back. Uh, yep. what, minute 40 till the tail? Yep. Sven actually TP the Radiant top instead. They're hunting. These guys have BKBs though. That's it. Cool a temper? Yeah. If if Smiling Knight uh, had perfect vision like we do, he'd obviously go down bottom and continue pushing right now. Uh, not only send the illusions, but he doesn't. And this is a good portal usage. Radiant are scanning. Should they will not be rewarded for it though? I, I senses that his time is up to continue playing around bottom. Like Lice is actually even gonna cut this mid wave and probably dip. He might run. Oh, it jumps over Zayat, but at least Yurag is here. Once again, ready and waiting to be able to clean up any mistakes or unfortunate scenarios that happen. He should be able to get him in the end with charge still being on cooldown. He didn't uh, BKB TP. It was an option for him. He just didn't. He, uh, he used the BKB way too late after the toss and. After the toss, there is no way he's BKBing, and t he's can BKB, but he can't TP because he has way too uh, little of HP. So, okay, Kanda completed on Morphling. You know, it's it's like you do what you can in a situation such as this one. You know that you're not in the best position, so you're trying to get there. Smiley Knight, the arrow whoa, hits whoa, on whoa, Razor. Hang on, can't be losing Knight like that, brothers. Really don't want to be using losing Young G as well. Aegis is out, and maybe that's kind of the signal for Na'Vi not to consider about high ground still 4v5. I mean, Dino's back alive shortly. Be lovely if they could get this bear. Yeah, the bear is... What's he building? Skadi, I feel like, right? Yep. Yes. It seems that... He's close to. Uh, just a really good item versus Morphling, something that you want to buy. Thanks. Makes your spirit bear a bit tankier too. I see a lot of games in which this bear eventually just becomes like, yeah, you have this uh, defusal and harpoon, but almost no extra armor, so he just melts. Oh, Zayat? Oh, he got the Ooh. toss on the morphling. And at least forces him back inside the base. Yuragi, does he feel comfortable with fighting off the back of the buyback? Gonna turn. Big crit on tonight. He can reposition. But does everyone else have the same fate? I mean, Dino's in trouble once again. Lice, he gets the BKB, no, but it's not going to do much. Young G, spell casting. And we see what the Torrent Storm's able to do. Really messing up Na'Vi inside the team fight. Stolen Avalanche now as well. This retreat, it's going to get messy. Without a doubt, they'll get the tiny kill. They need Can more. they get anything yep. more, though? Jeffrix trying to close Avalanche back up in a couple seconds. Really nice shoes. Nefret. Harpoon actually drags the Rubik closer to the bear. So at least he will get out. And is it that that was your re-summon of the bear that goes down? So nonetheless, it's a pretty good fight for Dai. You've got to buy back on the Marana, but you get some big kills. Yeah, I really have to respect this Kunka and how much the hero does. It's so stupid, man. Like, I have a feeling he won that fight single-handedly. Of course, the teammates did help out quite a lot, but most of the control and most of the damage was actually done by him. Really nicely played, and that comes from the almost least farmed core on the map. Like, second least farmed. So, really, really nicely done by Young G. And Navi perhaps a bit too eager to to finish, a bit too eager to go for these uh, last fights, game ending fights, because they could have waited, they could have reset with the BKBs. Maybe we'll just see them, because they have been aggressive like you're saying, so maybe we'll just see them play it a little bit more passively now. You have given a bit of gold over to, to Asakura, so Young G is about to have this Bloodstone completed, so very interesting from him. Sometimes we see this item maybe fourth or fifth, but wanting it a, a little bit early on. I think this game's really going to depend on you know, how fast of a Roshmon it's going to be, and we're about to find out. Well, it'll be about a medium one. One minute ten. Ah, the game will though. be... 
the game, game will be decided there, right? Most, more likely than not, it's gonna be decided next to the pit. And uh, wait, if it's up in one minute, that's gonna be like 30 seconds before it goes to dire side. So maybe, let's see. If, if Asakura are lucky, it's gonna be top, right? Like, the uh, Radiant won't scout it on time and Rosh will go top. But if Radiant scouts it and Yuragi starts hitting it on the second that it respawns, I feel like he has more than enough time to kill him with God's strength. Look at the How the vision that Radiant have set up. Uh, there's, dude, there's three wards down bottom. So yeah, yeah I mean, you're praying it's down here for Na'Vi. And uh, when it comes to the buyback status, Rubik doesn't have it, Kunka doesn't have it, Morph doesn't have it, Mirana does not have it. So, pal, realistically, when it comes to this rush fight, Radiant will have an advantage no matter what. Because they will have heroes with buybacks. Like Razor, CM, and Tiny. Only Primal Beast on the other side. Smoke he up. is getting close to a pretty big item though. Like this Scepter for, for Lysis. It will have impact. There's a couple of passives this game. But... It doesn't look like, unfortunately, he's going to have it by the time Roche is up. Na'Vi don't scout it out down bottom. But they're already starting to sweep across the map and get themselves set up once again up top. Do they have any wards, though? No observers, unfortunately, because of all the previous ones used. I feel like um, Asakura, they aren't even interested in contesting it because they're moving down bottom, right? So they just want to continue farming, wait for that high ground push, defend versus Aegis and... Uh, what will it be? Cheese, right? Yeah, Aegis Cheese from Dai Roshan. Zenkid is oh. very close to Refresher as well, so this is going to be another big item for the Razor. Another one that we see Radiant getting compared to Dai just continuing to lack behind. Yep. Not, they're using Mirana ult for some reason. Uh... They did scout out Sven, so because of that, maybe they're thinking... Let's see, let's see. Okay, they're, they're scouted out. They saw the wards. The cheese! There's a Somebody get the cheese! They forgot the cheese. What? I, I will eat the cheese. You're a cheese fan? You like cheese? Oh man, I, I love cheese. All kinds of... <laughs> any, any sort of oh, are you a blue cheese fan then? I love blue cheese. I love blue. Oh, I love all let's of them. go. A man of culture. The, st the, st I the stinkier, it. the better, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I oh, come on. Some people just don't appreciate it, and honestly, I think uh, I think their taste is it's poor. I think you just need to grow up. <laughs> grow up, right? <laughs> Right, yeah. Go just up. get like, better like taste, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> just, just do better. Come on. Unfortunately, just they think develop this those is, uh, taste the stinkiest. Buds. Ah, come on. They're just, uh, you, you think they've grown up by now? Apparently, Navi haven't grown up. You know, they left this stinky cheese inside the pit. It's a handicap yep. for them, though. They feel too strong. They got a fourteen thousand net worth lead. You're at a position where you feel content to be able to beat the high ground. I mean, Sanctity just got refresher delivered. He has ages now, too. They just want to handicap themselves. I really think this is anyone's game at the moment. It's with without the cheese, with the cheese, obviously it will be, it would be easier for them. But uh, even even with it, I'm looking at this Morphling. He's looking scary. Ancient Guardian now as well. So. Much easier for him to defend the high ground. Can they Ooh. kill the bear? I, that's kind of crafty. I kind of wouldn't mind if they pulverize this bear. Oh, look at that damage. They might not need it though. And like, oh, very close to being able to get the drag, but now, though, he is way over positioned. Oh. I mean, you, you go for it, it's all or nothing, but once you put yourself out of the base, Navi. See a big opportunity, and now with 4v5, these buildings are not going to be long, and maybe the heroes as well. 
They're going to need the Torrent Storm once again to turn the fight, but the Morphling is already taking far too much damage. And Sanctity with a double eye, the Storm will continue to push Dyer back. That feels very much gameish. Let's see, toss back Ooh, on nice the Razor. Toss. Okay, yeah, but Crafty, will fall for Rubik, it. I think that's... Yeah, no buyback. Melody just runs past everything into the team for Tau, picks up the gem again. Crafty, but 20 more seconds for Primal Beast. At least Megas, you know, at least Megas. And then you can perhaps play against them because uh, there's a BKB. <laughs> yeah. No more for 45. I don't know how you defend this. Very unlikely. No Some crazy Torrent Storm, yeah. It's a cooldown on the 20 seconds. Oh, never mind. Apparently, Bed just popped back out. Is it in base? Who was it? I didn't see it. Anyway, those matter. <coughs> 10 seconds for Torrent Storm. Lincoln's nice. broken. They're That's an run. okay jump. Arrow's gonna combine as well, but the damage, it, again, it's just lacking without the Morphling here. Your chain control can look great and all, but without anyone there to be able to capitalize on the opportunity. You do have Morphling back up shortly though, so Navi, they will signal the retreat. Melody doesn't clone herself out of the base. So it looks like they should be able to get the tiny Rubik jump down. What? Which is buried his okay. own grave. Melody doesn't die. What is going on? Was he harpooned? Or he just went down? I'm not sure. But yeah, he, he disappeared the same second. Okay, so they're still holding. Unless toss back on Mirana and Ice, Ice X. <laughs> I peaked. <laughs> I mean. It's a... Uh, Oh this boy. Arrow. <laughs> yeah, interesting, interesting one. Yeah, did you see that? <laughs> yeah. I don't like seeing an arrow go past my throat in the wrong direction. Yeah, so yeah. We, there, we there, there's like mist. Already. Uh, there's mist arrows and then there's that. Sven? Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's got satanic. Yuragi down to heart, but turns with the satanic, repairs some of the damage, and now continue to stand his ground and fight. But he doesn't have God Strength, and he's back up now. So with the next blink, he's going to look to reinitiate. And Knight really doesn't have any boys to play with, because further to the north, Saint Diddy, he's zoning two heroes away. There's two fights breaking out simultaneously, and Saint Diddy, he's going to win it with That's the numbers game. disadvantage. And meanwhile as well, they also get the Morphling by the Ancients. Jeezy going to be dropped, and Na'Vi with a new roster will take game one. Oh, nicely done by Navi. Uh, very well deserved. A couple of really nice rotations early on from them. The movements on the map were a bit faster than Asakura's. It really needs to be said that uh, the way they played was yeah commendable. At the same time, when it